Now then, and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One, and welcome. Tonight, we are looking back. With it being October, I am having a look back at some of my favourite haunted films, scary films, horror films. Tonight, I have a beauty of a B-movie for you guys. Brains. Brains. Return of the Living Dead absolute amazing film you know technically it's a bad film you know but it's amazing this film is probably one of my favorite zombie films no i would dare to say is probably one of my favorite zombie films of all time it's fun it's imaginative it's it's got some great fucking lines what crossed over into like the sim into just pop culture in general um you know you know, zombies eating brains, you know, it, it's, it's just a absolute gorgeous piece of film, it's absolute gorgeous, yes, there's, there's some questionable um, shots and all that, I am ranting, let me put myself in a corner and we'll have a look at Return of the Living Dead, let's go. I'm going to put myself in a little corner. Which corner? I had no idea. I've already started ranting. So let's have a look. We are at IMDb. The Return of the Living Dead. Right there. 1985 this, this came out. It's got a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb. And just the practical effects in this film. is just next level. Next level. Very so much imagination to to this film whatsoever and you know considering the budget they had they they fucking they went to another level on it they they hit another level um yeah when i i i, I did say it, it's a bad film when you're looking at it, it at a film as you know camera action uh, camera angles you know script work you know all that when you're looking at all that it is a B horror movie, and it's it doesn't take itself too serious seriously, which you know, as as a B movie, it, it shouldn't, and it doesn't. But doesn't take away from the fact it's an awesome film. There's, a, there's only a couple that I saw that were questionable, like a couple of angles, you know, um, camera angles, and, and you know, and back then they were running on so so little film and that so there was a couple of trips in this and some bigger budget films could have maybe cut that out but they couldn't that just adds to the the greatness of the film because it is like i said it is a great film i'm gonna have a quick look through before we i delve deep into into return of the living dead on rotten tomatoes it's got a 91% on the uh, critic, uh, which I generally don't, but 79 on the audience score. Let's have a look in this. Top critics, they give it 86. So, you know, it scored it scored very well. It's got a 4 out of 5 on, on Rotten Tomatoes. Horrible site, I know. Um, I generally don't really use it. I, I go off IMDb myself. But an article... Um, this is Wikipedia uh, headline. Uh, Return of the Living Dead was a, a critical and moderate box office success, grossing fourteen million two hundred and thirty-seven thousand domestically, on an estimated budget at four million dollars. Now, uh, so I've pulled up the numbers, and yeah, it, it's just made over fourteen million. Um, International box office, it's got $754. Um, I don't know where. That's uh, it's a international. New Zealand. Oh, wow. New Zealand, eh? Opening weekend, f $4 million. $4 million. In the life of it, it, you know, just over $14 million, as we said. And the production budget was $4 million. Now... At this time, I'm not sure of any sort of marketing numbers. I don't know if there was any sort of marketing, especially with it being a rated R. Um, was there any sort of marketing figure to it? Um, so let's just be generous 
and let's give it two, two million to six million all all in all. I could be, I could be just pulling that number out of thin air. I have no idea. I'm just going off today's um, numbers, and uh, that's the generally half or you know, double what the production budget is. It's generally it generally half the production budget. So let's let's say six to to be generous. Again, they could have no marketing cost. There could have been none whatsoever. That could have been that marketing cost could have been in the production budget. I've no idea. Um, I've not looked into it either because I don't really want to. Because this film has made its money back, and for the time, this film made quite a lot of money for 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 it and what kind of movie it was. And yeah, it, you could say it was a box office, box office success. <laughs> I bet um, Snow White and Little Mermaid would wish for them sort of fucking numbers. Um, but we're, we're back at IMDb. Um, um, quick synopsis. Um, when two bumbling employees at a medical supply warehouse accidentally release a deadly gas into the air the vapors cause the dead to rise again as zombies not any ordinary zombies return of the living dead zombies and all they want is brains 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 Brains. Um, imdb give this a 7.3 now i'm very biased it's probably one of my favorite zombie films probably one of my favorite horror films it's a B movie, B horror film, so it's definitely my favourite B horror film, uh, B movie horror film, um, and I would give this a nine point two, nine point two, because um, it, it's it's definitely up there. But there's a couple of things where this could have been fucking ten out of ten. Five films in total. Um, I think a couple of remakes, so I, I won't, maybe we shouldn't add them. There's three films in total. I haven't seen two and I haven't seen three. So I will be watching two and three this spooky season, spooky season. Um, and I will definitely review them for, for, for you guys. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing some of the latest Halloween uh, franchise for the spooky season. I do love love this time of year i love it uh, and then it comes to one of my favorite times of year um christmas you know i know you americans you got thanksgiving and all that and i would love to visit america during thanksgiving and halloween i would love nothing more to visit during them uh, these times of year love nothing more um but that's for that's for another story and one day i will um but so let's get back to it it's it's, it's just a fantastic film. If you haven't watched this film, what are you doing? What Put this on pause. You can watch this after if you want, you know, but go and watch that film. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, the the, uh, the cover art is, look, at that's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, they're back from the grave and they are and ready to party. This film follows a couple a couple uh, groups of people um it, you got freddy and you got frank and freddy who are the bumbling um warehouse guys in the medical supply um facility you got their boss um bert who's equally is is not quite as bumbling i wouldn't call him bumbling frank is Frank is like the supervisor, I, I would guess, and he's taken Freddy under his in under his wings, and uh, he's just showing him around. Uh, one thing I really enjoy about this this film, just the simple explanation. So, for an example, Frank is showing um, Freddy how to pack up a, a skeleton that they're going to ship off, and it is just explaining how 
where to pick it, you know, how they pack it, how they send it, and it, just small um, explanations for for just simple tasks. You may think it's you know it sounds like really silly, and he's maybe talking down to him, but I generally don't, we generally don't get that dialogue in this in in films like that now. We don't get that sort of dialogue in films now like that. It, it you're just expected to know what people are doing on screen, and sometimes that's not not the case um but this yeah we could all see uh, frank and freddie were packing the skeleton but they're just explanation to it and it there's a couple more in, in when the film um progresses like when they meet ernie he explain explains to um bert uh, a certain process um which i won't get into um unless i, I probably will do a deep dive um, of this film because it is just fantastic. This film. Come on, man. You got a couple of groups. You got well, you you got two groups in the um, in the film. You got Freddie, Frank, and Bert, and then later on Ernie, and then you got the Freddie's friends who who are waiting for Freddie. So when he finishes his first shift, they can all go out and party. Um, but it's a, an ensemble gang. And it's just typical 80s gang of friends. You got your jocks, you got your rockers, you got your cheerleaders, you got your nerds, and they're just all hanging together. I don't know if that would be the case in real life, but it's just great to see because you generally see that in, in this sort of 80s film. And, and then to, to have this geezer, have the tar man, it's, it's just look at it that's just absolute looks gorgeous absolute gorgeous um practical effects beautiful practical effects and it's just a fun and and uh they just freddy was frank is telling freddy some scary stuff because frank uh, freddy asks him what's the scariest thing you've seen because it's a medical warehouse uh, facility and uh, he said, you, you know, that film, that Night of the Living Dead, that was an actual thing. And we, the army contained it and they accidentally sent us some of the zombies in these containers. And the freaks Freddy out and the bit of a jump scare. And uh, Frank asks him, do you want to see him? And he said, yeah. And they go down and they open up one of the the hatches so they could have a look through the glass for the zombie and uh they they freddy asked frank is how secure it is are these secure and he's like yeah and he slaps it and whole hell breaks loose and uh them two pass out the sh glass shatters and tarman escapes and uh that's and then it cuts to Freddy's friends who were partying in a abandoned graveyard. Party. Now, is abandoned graveyard a thing? I don't actually think so. <laughs> but they have. Yeah. So this is what the the at the start of the film says. The events portrayed in this film are all true. The names are real names of real people and real organizations. And I just love that. I love that. If I'd have known that, I would have clicked that to the picture. But you, you got you got the rocker who's got chains everywhere. You got the uh, the goth chick who just who fantasizes about death and you know dying and and stuff like that. And she does an amazing strip tease. Amazing. Which the choreography of that was a bit shocking but at the end of the day <laughs> we saw a striptease and uh, she is very tidy she's very tidy is uh, probably the best way i could describe that scene very very tidy um and it's just fun hearing one of her fantasies because that's the way she goes. <laughs> and it's just, yeah, it's, uh, I can't think the tall guy's head uh, name, but he gets bit. He's, he's, the tar man starts eating his brains. It, it's just, that's all these zombies want to do is eat brains. And Ernie is definitely 
pro- you could probably say the zombies steal the show for me. Um, but if any of the the the, ac- the actors, Ernie probably stole the show. He was cool, calm, collective, uh, and then he he got a little bit freaked out when the 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 boys brought the um, the zombie the 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 zombie in to dispose of. Uh, he he got a little bit freaked out, but then he he him and Bert became calm and, and sort of leaders of both groups in, in a way you could say. And it was just fun seeing as because as they go into burn one of the bodies um, from from the uh, fact, uh, from the warehouse, um, they release something that yeah that the because the the pure relief of that body being burned on Bert and definitely Bert Bert's face is just thank God that's over. And then to, to turn around and see Frank and Freddie not doing so well because they've had a full face full of that that gas. And they're, they're definitely not doing good. Um, he, he has more worry onto him. So at that brief moment of joy, and then it all just comes crashing down. It all comes crashing down just like the gas that's just gone into into the atmosphere, into the local atmosphere. And, and luckily, that, that abandoned graveyard is just right next door. Uh, and this is what always happens in these films, but that's why they're so good. So good. And it just releases chaos into the world, which, again, it, it just happens like that, which is it, just so fun. Just so fun. You'd seen seeing zombies crawl up from the ground. It, it again filmed amazingly for the time. Yeah. Could they have filmed that another way? Probably, but this was filmed probably the best way you could for that sort of shot. And uh, just just seeing the zombies, the the whole range of zombies. Zombies what just look like they've just been bitten and they look like they could maybe get away with turning up for a shift uh, but then you've got the zombies that are just pure skeletons and it's just it's just daft it's just daft if you want to go down the the zombie route and you want to be all sort of authentic yeah that wouldn't that wouldn't happen but that's why that's why this film is just so good um i could go on for hours and hours Knowing that they released this gas and, you know, the ambulance guys come in and they take a look at Freddie and, and and Frank and they they realise that they're they're dead but they're still alive. Something's not right. And the ambulance guys call for you know go out to maybe call for backup, but that's when they get ambushed by the zombies from the from the graveyard and uh they just get ambushed. A couple of zombies jump in into the uh, the front. A couple of them jump into the back, and uh, once they've taken care of the ambulance guys, they they there's up one of the zombie calls for more paramedics, and uh, that that's just great because you generally don't see that in zombie films, and uh, and that happens. And Ernie's Ernie sort of explain ex, explaining to to the gang, oh no, yeah, they've just been ambushed, and then another ambulance um, van comes down, and they get ambushed, and then the cops come, and they get ambushed, and then the cops have it surrounded, trying to contain it, and then they get ambushed, <laughs> it's just ambush after ambush after ambush, it's just, <laughs> it's just so funny, but this is maybe one of the best effects of the film um because they're the boarding up the place um just before they re- realize shit has hit the fan they're boarding up the place they're trying to make it secure um <laughs> and one zombie gets through the window and bites um this guy in the head starts chomping on his brain 
and uh, they pull they try and pull him back but it pulls a torso a zombie torso through this woman Brains. Brains. this is the the scene and i don't want to show the f- the full picture because she's naked and I don't know what YouTube's like with that sort of stuff. I know it's a zombie, um, but I don't know if I'd be if I would be rude or, or, or whatever it is. I've no idea, so I won't show that that picture. But um, they they managed to get the uh, strapped down to a bench, and it, and Ernie talks to her, and she's and he's like, "What? What do you want? Why do you want to eat brains?" And she's and she's like, "Brains just make us." feel better because we're in so much pain and brains just ease the pain and it's just just seeing seeing her on on the the uh, medical bench you know oozing um, spinal fluid and you know just all dried up and rotting and she's she's complaining that everything's hurting because she's rotting to death and she can't die and brains just make it better and that's just a fantastic scene. They realise this is when Bert realises. It. It's not when they realise. I think they realised early on that it's fucked. Everything's fucked. Um, but that's when Bert tries to um, escape because Frank and Freddy have turned. They've turned now into zombies. Freddy is trying to eat his girlfriend. <laughs> you know, it, who hasn't tried to eat their girlfriend at, you know, at some certain points. Eat me. Um, and she's not even on of it. She don't want to get her brains eaten. Um, and and Frank is taking the noble option and is, is, um, has been the only zombie that I've seen to date. I'm not saying there isn't, but he's been the only zombie that has suicided himself. <laughs> and he puts his wedding ring onto the burner, and he, he, you know, it's, it's quite that's quite a, a beautiful scene actually, because you know he knows that he he doesn't want to hurt people, so he's, he's, that's his only way out, which in fact makes more zombies, um, which is yeah, it's just ironic, I suppose. Anyway, Bert gets into a police cruiser, and uh, he's, he's got one of the guys, he's got a couple of guys with him, and they make it to the warehouse where this is where they find a couple, a couple of the other gang uh, hiding out there and they have to and that's where they kill old Tarman or well not kill Tarman but they they get him under control and this is where they get to the phone and, and they ring the army because the army's phone number is on the containers um and because the army have been looking for these containers for whether whenever the night of the living dead happened um so they've been after these and that calls the general up which has a, a really good cgi effect of a nuclear bomb going loading up into one of the big guns and shooting it it, it blows up the, the town which creates more <laughs> toxic gas and which will create more zombies um but that's my spoilery sort of spoilery review that's a that's a great that's a great fucking scene that's a great scene i'll pause out because i don't know what youtube's like uh, but that's my look back on the return of the living dead i will be doing two and i will be doing three very soon i'm going to be Doing, I'm also going to be having a look back, or maybe my my reviews of of the um, the newer Halloween, the the new sort of Halloween films what are out, and have a have a look at them and, and review them um, for the spooky season, um, because I love this season, I love Halloween, I, I love you know the hot the whole fun the whole fun of people trying to scare one another I, I love that that's that's awesome and who doesn't love a good horror film this this type of film is is probably my favorite and I, I do love a zombie film 
and this this zombie film is probably up there for me. It's definitely up there. Um, I give it a 9.2. So yeah, it, it is up there for me. If you haven't watched it, please go out and watch it. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've seen it. And if you haven't liked it, let me know. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. My look back at Return of the Living Dead. If you have liked this video, please give it a like. If you haven't liked this video, I thank you anyway for watching. I've been Rarity One. I will catch you in my next video. Peace.